Hey guys, and welcome to my next reaction to Arcane. So, uh, at the time of me filming this, only the first reaction has gone live on YouTube, and I just want to say you guys were really, really sweet. I had a feeling, I did get a lot of requests for Arcane, so I had a feeling that people would be really excited for me to watch it, but it was really, truly very, very sweet how excited people were for me to watch it. I, I really loved all of the support. So, obviously, uh, to, with that lead-in, um, I have definitely made the decision to react to the rest of the show. I had a feeling I would, but you al I always kind of have to make that disclaimer just in case something doesn't do well on the channel. It was really funny. There were quite a few comments that were like, oh no, you're not going to want to stop and um, after you see this or after you do whatever, which you guys hyped up this episode quite a bit, but um, uh, it's kind of funny because I, I was like, it's, it's not... By the way, when I say that, like, if it does well, it's not whether or not I really like it. I mean, of course, if I really don't like something, I probably won't continue it. But it's more if you guys like the reaction videos than it is about me. Like, anyway, um, it was just really funny. Um, but uh, I'm very excited to continue on this journey. And I just really appreciate all of the, the love and support that you guys... Uh, gave me in the first reaction, so I really appreciate that. All right, let's get into it. There's this thing in your head. Shh, okay. You could pass a lifetime without ever facing a choice like that. But it changes you forever. I thank you, old friend. Ooh. Well, I think I know who the old friend is. Andrew? <gasps> How did you find me? I'm sorry. I oh um, oh. This is the only way to protect the others. You've got a good heart. Don't ever lose it. No matter oh. how the world tries to break you. Oh no! Stop. Is he gonna sacrifice himself? Uh no 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 no. Oh my god. Oh my. Well, I mean. Mm, okay. The council needs its pound of flesh. Without you down here, it all falls apart. I was gonna say that it, you know, that is Things a good point. Handled. You won't be coming back for a long time. Oh no! Oh my God! No! Oh, he wants to protect. Oh, he wants to protect his family. Oh, my emotions! What the fuck was that? What the fuck was? Oh! 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 Oh my God! Oh my God! No! Oh, I liked her. Sort of. I mean, I kind of. What the fuck is this? Oh. Wait. <gasps> oh my god, was that? That's the potion drink. Oh, yep, yep. It's a... he's purpley, purpley. Oh my god, what? Vander, 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 Vander. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't kill. Him. Fight, fight. I don't care if you're. Oh my god. I know, you're, I know you're handcuffed, babe, but what? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, Well, looks like they're taking him, like, hostage and not killing him, so I guess. <sighs> Take the wins where we can get it, I got a side of me, I know. Oh. Oh, oh, I feel so bad for her. Oh my God. Oh, sweetheart. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I saw everything. <gasps> Be Ben's so oh. Me. I have a feeling she's gonna go try to get, get Vander. She's got a big heart. Shit, that's a lot of that stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god. They won't dare set foot in the underground again. I trusted you. Yep. And you betrayed me. This is interesting. Until you made peace with them. Played lapdog after everything we suffered. I 
No. Choice. But now you do. No. Nope. No. Nope. We have the power. Shimmer? Is that what he said? Ooh. Brother. I'll show you what you really are. No, oh, oh. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't like that. I don't like it. So far, so good. Hmm. Oh, shit. Why didn't you risk exile for your endeavor? I know it sounds impossible, but when have we ever let that stop us? I think she's Please. intrigued. I think she's on Just board. Just give us a chance. One night, gentlemen. Impress me, or I'd suggest you pack your bags. Okay. You're not doing this alone, Vi. He's our father, too. Oh, you know where they oh my him? heart. I need you to sit this one out, Powder. What? You're not coming. I want to fight. I can help. You're not ready. Ooh. You're all I have left. Yeah, okay. I can't lose you. Oh. I feel bad for both of them in this moment. If they come for you, take this and run. Because all Powder wants to do is be able to help. And that it, it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. Also, from Vi's perspective, she, she this is this is big leagues, and she needs to focus on on Vander and not necessarily worry about Powder. You get what I'm saying? Like I see how it's. it's oh God, breaks my heart. It would really suck if they cause another explosion. One, because they'd be blown up. Trust me. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh sweetheart. Oh sweetheart. Oh god, I hate that she's alone right now though. I will say that. I know, I know, I know. Oh sweetheart. Oh sweetheart. Oh! Oh god, that's not good. 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 Bullet. I think it's done. I don't know. I can help them. Oh, sweetie. Okay. Okay. Maybe. Oh, I'm nervous. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's trippy. Incredible. Yes, incredible. Also, possibly dangerous in the wrong hands. Okay. <laughs> I am nervous about everything. Oh no, it's a trap. They're not having him out like that. That you could just walk up to him. Oh no. It was easy. We found an open window and... Oh. Yeah, it's a trap. It's a trap. You it's a trap. Now. Well done. You have my congratulations. But I'm afraid this will be a very short reunion. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, have squad. Have you heard the rumor? You don't have to do this. Yes, I do. Holy shit! Holy oh. shit! Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh! There you go. There you go. There you go. Queen. Let's go. She is quite a fighter. I'm very impressed. Take a breath. You can do this. Oh! Oh! Sweet. 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 I love. Oh my goodness. Ready to rise to the surface. No. No, no, no. We don't need to rise anywhere. No. This is gonna be a situation. Oh god, it's horrible. It's horrible. It's horrible. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so nervous. Oh, ah! oh my god, oh my god. 
Oh shit. If you're gonna throw in an explosion, just make sure it's like in the front. I, I, I don't know. I, I, like everybody's in there. <gasps> you did good. Oh. Decide. Oh shit. For the era of magic. Uh, Hextech. For the era of Hextech. Hextech. Okay. Okay. Whew. I don't I don't know how I feel about that. And I don't know how I feel about this. I gotta say. Don't know how I feel about this. You have to work for me, okay? I'm pretty sure it will. Um I mean at least they're barricaded in. Will hopefully withstand this one. So there you go. King, let's go. I really hope this works for her. Come on, save your family. We love it. Okay, you're free. Let's go, let's go, fam. The whole fam. Holy! Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Whoa! I don't know. Oh boy. Be okay. Be okay. Be okay. Be okay. Be okay. All of you. All of you. Family, you're fine. You're fine. God. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, this breaks my heart into a million pieces. Shh. They were about to get out. Fuck me. Fuck. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Don't. Yeah, okay, get him. Get him. <gasps> no! Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I feel so bad for you. <gasps> Really? 
I mean, I didn't think he was, like, you know, gonna make it past that, or, you know, but it was really sad. Ah! He was my favorite! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I only wanted to help. I only wanted to help. Oh god. I only wanted to help my other- I told you to stay away. I told you to stay away! Oh. Why did you leave me? Because you're a jinx. Do you hear me? Milo was right. No. no. Okay. No. <laughs> Okay. Oh. We need a break. We need a break. We need a break. We need. Oh God! I wouldn't. I wouldn't leave. Uh, I can't. I can't take this. I can't take this. I feel bad for both of them. I can't take this. Oh fuck! No! 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 I don't know how I feel about this. Loop. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you very much. Not you, Vi, obviously. But like, fuck you. That you. Vi, I don't think I know your name, but fuck yourself. Fuck you. Fuck you. Shit, that's really bad. This is all really bad. This is all really bad. Because like, Vi is gonna be fucking hell. Little girl, where's your sister? Stop. She is not here. My sister. Okay. Well, this is all very bad. This is all very, very bad. We'll show them. We'll show them. We'll show them. Oh shit. Okay, we'll show them all. Oh shit. <sighs> Fuck. This is terrible. Okay. Okay. One second. Okay guys, I certainly have a lot to say about all of that. Um, I did know that it was a fairly big episode um, because, I, I mean, so many people said that, I mean, sorry, but in the comments, everybody was like, episode three, episode three, oh my God, episode three. Um, and I do wanna say, try to refrain sometimes from doing that, I mean, this, it was, you know, it didn't really spoil anything for me, but sometimes overhyping episodes doesn't really work out. Um, and it takes away some of the shock factor and stuff like that. This was fine, but I'm just saying in the future, try not to do that. Um, nonetheless, uh, okay, the first thing that I want to talk about before I get to like all of the craziness um, with everything that happened with at, you know, Silco's place. I believe that's his name. Oh my god. I'm trying to be really good with the name, so you let me know <laughs> if I'm doing good or not. Um, okay. Uh, but I do want to talk about Jace and um, Victor and their experiments. And this is really interesting because I don't know where it's going to go. I really don't know where it's going to go. It could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing. And I love that about this show in general and it it bleeds into the other storyline as well but a lot of people have good intentions or they have goals that like make sense and you understand that doesn't mean that it's not gonna end badly which a lot of times happens in real life a lot not that massive craziness or anything but i love the idea that there is a part of me that is really kind of rooting for Jace to like succeed in his experiments and for him personally, for him to like, it, for him to show how like, you know, uh, magic, hex tech, arcane, what, you know, um, could be used for good. It could save lives. It could do so many things like that. Right. Like, I think that that's amazing. And you, you want that, right? Um, but I'm not gonna say that I don't understand um, where there is apprehension about it because I think it's very, very possible that if it falls into the wrong hands that it could be 
really bad as well. You know what I mean? Like I, oof. it could be. Um, and so it kind of relies on how much do we trust the leaders of Piltover? And I'm not sure it's that much at this given, you know, moment in time. I don't know. So I kind of love that, like, I'm watching those scenes and I don't know whether to be excited that the experiment worked or not. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, but I am excited, like, oh, good job. But then also you're like, oh, this could go bad. This could go left real quick. You know what I mean? Oh, I, so I did want to touch on that before I got into all of the other stuff, but um, yeah, it could be good. It could be bad. It could be somewhere in the middle. It could be a mixture. I have a feeling that it might actually be the somewhere in the middle so far with what I've seen of this show. Okay. So now we need to get, we need to get into it with this, this family drama, this, uh, deaths and deaths and deaths. Um, okay. So the first thing that I want to talk about is kind of what they opened it with. Silco and Vander. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. And that was already, like, when we were seeing, like, the first shot of uh, this episode of what Vander did to Silco. Um, and how how interesting it is, the different approaches, right, <clears throat> of dealing with this super unfair injustice that's going on to where they are. Um, it's kind of interesting because it's just, it's sort of different perspectives and you can kind of see sort of what's going on with it. Now, listen, I, I gotta say, uh, the the drinking of the, the purple potion, what did he call it? Shimmer? Shimmer. I'm trying to pay attention, you know what I mean? Uh, but, uh, like, I, I don't know how I feel about that because I, I don't know. I, you know, I don't know how I feel about that. You know, I'm a little... But what I, what I do want to say is it kind of... Specifically when he said to Vander, like... The only thing that the people of Piltover are ever going to understand is violence. It's like, you know, keeping the peace is not necessarily helping these people. It's possibly keeping them alive. And so I'm not, I'm not, I will, I'm absolutely not going against, you know, Vandor and what he's doing because I actually think that he has, he has very good reasons for what he's doing. He tried violence and, uh, didn't really work out and just a lot of people died. I, I'm inferring from like the little bits that we've seen, but that's kind of, you know, what I think. Also, you change, I assume he changes his perspective a lot because he's got kids to worry about. That's, that's a very, very different perspective. So everything kind of with him possibly betraying Silco, which I, you know, I'm inferring a little bit here. So maybe we're going to dive into it more and I'll get more perspective as time goes on. But like, you know, I assume Silco wanted to really, you know, uh, Be more aggressive <laughs> and Vander just had to stop that from happening in, in order to in to save lives in his mind but there's kind of two perspectives here that I was actually talking a lot about when it came to like a lot of the conversations that Vander and Vi were having um, in the previous two episodes or where they were talking and it's like I totally get why somebody like Vi wants to fight. Like, it's absolutely bullshit. And, you know, what's the point of living if we have to live like this? You know what I mean? Like, I, and so I get that. And I get also just the rage of somebody like Silco, though I don't really love his m methods of how he's going about things. A little bit. 
You know what I mean? I don't, I don't like that, that purple stuff. I don't, the shimmer, the shimmer. I think that's what he called it. It's going to be hilarious if that's not what he called it and I'm just naming it that. I think that's what he said. Anyway, um, but there's, you know, his strategy of we just want to scare Piltover so they just don't step foot over here. Now, okay, is that, you know, I'm assuming that means they cannot be in our business anymore. One possibly, which I guess some people might think of as a good thing, but it also might be if you're the one that has these like crazy killing machine people that take the shimmer and can just like tear people to shreds, then that means you're in charge, right? That's what's going on and you can be in charge and I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that. Gotta be honest, I don't know how I feel about that. So, you know, it's a little bit of a power grab too. Um, and uh, I mean, we're gonna have to see where that goes, right? <laughs> um, but I do love that the show does a really, really good job of kind of showing different sides of why, or at least explaining why people feel how they feel. Even if you don't necessarily agree with something that they did or, you know, whatever. Um, you know, it's possible maybe you don't agree with, with Vander trying to keep the peace watching this. And I love shows like this. I love that, like, any given person who watches this show can, like, gravitate towards certain characters or, you know, whatever. Um, I guess the point of that being is that, like, I feel like they have, like, very real characters. They, they have people who um, are not perfect, uh, react in certain ways, but... Um, you can see where they're coming from. I really like that. There's not like a, it's not very black and white. And I like that. Um, oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, I know there's things that I want to touch on, but I want to make sure that I like hit everything that I want to. Ugh. Uh, I, I gotta say, I, I did feel kind of bad for the, um, and I don't know the uh, Piltover soldier, the woman. I don't know her name. I apologize. Um, but I, li I, I liked her uh, for the brief little bits that we saw of her. I feel like she was trying, like, she was kind of had the same mentality of Vander and trying to keep the peace. When she went in to, like, take him in, she's like, Ugh, but I can't take you in. Like... You're the person who's who's keeping everybody kind of chill over here. Um, which, by the way, you can agree with or not, but it's just, it, it, you know, I see her perspective of like, why would I take you in? Like, it's we're we're gonna go to war if you don't, you know. Uh, so I I uh, I do want to say that I felt bad that she, I think she had she had good intentions, I guess. Um, that's kind of the thing of the show, though. I feel like a lot of people have good intentions. It doesn't mean that it works out. Let's get into it. All right. Um, first of all, I just, I still really, really upset to lose Vander, especially, I don't know, I, I, I liked his character a lot. Um, I like that he wanted to, to save his his kids and I love that he instilled such a like you know care and love that his you know his kids like you know didn't even think twice about like saving him you know especially Vi um who has in my opinion she's she's got a very very big heart he when he said you know, you've got a big heart, don't, you know, don't ever change, or however he said it, I forget, when, before he was about to turn himself in or whatever. Um, 
which I think uh, she might go through some changes now. She might, this is, this is trauma to a very high level for her, um, for everybody uh, involved um, that survived. Uh, but I, I think, oh God, I don't even know. I don't even know where to start with all of this, but I, you know, uh, Vander had, uh, you know, like an option to go after Silco or get Vi out and he got, he got Vi out and I'm not shocked because he cares and he's trying to protect people. He's a, he's a protector in nature. I think Vi is very similar to that as well. And it, oh, I mean, it was, it was sad. It was really, really sad. And I think the loss of him and the sisters getting separated, I mean, like, it's just, it's a wrap. There's, there's going to be some situations going on. It's not going to be good, um, for this relationship between the sisters. Um, and I don't really know where we're going to go from here, but I, it's just a, God, a series of, of unfortunate events, which is a, a very a polite way of putting it, but <clears throat> that leads to, I think is going to lead to these sisters completely being separated and not even really thinking on the same page, which is sad. Um, I don't know which sister I want to get into first because they both, they both broke my heart <laughs> or my heart breaks for them, I guess is the, the best way to put it. I guess I'll go, I'll go with Vi first. Um, I feel really bad. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. I feel really, really bad. Vi has this, uh, protective nature to her. Um, and an encouraging nature to her that I actually really love. And this was the one time I feel, I feel like the one time where she truly, I said it in my reaction, but she truly didn't, she couldn't have powder there. You know what I mean? And I think she needed to think clearly. She needed to fight and she needed to not have to worry about her sister. And, you know, I don't really blame her for that at all because I think if, you know, in, in all other you know, when they're doing the heist or whatever they're doing, she's being very encouraging to her sister. She wants her sister to have like, you know, to have an outlet and, and stuff, but, um, I, to, to grow and, and, and everything like that. But I think this just wasn't that time. Now, I also think that powder, it was hard for powder to not take that as a, your, you're not useful and feeling kind of abandoned. That's what's really great, I feel like, about the writing of the show is you can kind of see see both perspectives. You know, for something like trying to save Vander, somebody that she cares about so much and, and, and everything, that I think, you know, by... I, I can't say that I wouldn't have done the same thing, that I wouldn't have said, you know, that Powder, please, please stay here. You know, I need to, I need to focus. I need to go. I need to, you know, um, and it, it's very possible. You, you could play a whole lot of what ifs with this scenario. It's very possible if she came along, it would, you know, maybe then somebody would have stopped her before like throwing a, <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know. There's a lot of what ifs that could be, you know, what if 
you know, what if you did, Vi did let her come along? Or what if Powder just did stay put? You know, like there's a lot, there's a lot of what ifs here. Um, but I, I do have to, to say that it was just, oh, it absolutely broke my heart as somebody who feels like people look up to her lead particularly her two um I know they're the, I don't think they're they're biological brothers but I'll say brothers right um you know Vander earlier on in the, the, one of the, the previous two episodes was like you know they look up to you you know that they follow your lead and you know that or whatever and she's trying to make the right decisions she's there's a lot of weight on her shoulders and it, there's a lot of weight on her shoulders while she's really, uh, in my opinion, very emotional about Vander possibly getting killed or, or hurt or whatever. She doesn't know where he is. She's trying to save him. And she's trying to make the right decisions. She's trying to say, you know, uh, t t we need to, t to try and, and get him and, and Powder, I'm going to need you to stay. But, you know, as much as you try to control things, as you try to make the right decisions... Sometimes people are going to do what they're going to do, right? Um, and um, it really, it really broke my heart to think that she feels like these people are sort of following her lead. Um, and both of her, of her brothers, they got killed. They got killed horrifically. And also, technically, by, you know, the sister that she left behind I'm not saying left behind in a in a cruel way in a sense of th that's how really powder felt about it um I don't think she intended it in any sort of leaving her out I think she intended it as a being slightly more protective of everyone involved um <clears throat> Goodness, I know there's a lot. There is a lot to talk about. Um, and obviously, it is a jarring moment where she calls, you know, um, or she says that you you are a jinx. This is you you fuck everything up. She didn't exact. I don't think she exactly said that or whatever. And then she hits uh, powder. And you know what? I don't know if this is going to be an unpopular opinion. Um, I don't know. Let's see. But I, do, you know, I, I mean, she just lost the, the the entirety of her family, and and much like a lot of other characters, have have some very severe emotional distress um that was probably not her finest moment and i i think i mean we see as soon as uh we see like silco approaching powder you know vi's like trying to get to her and trying to save her and and all of that um and she's such it's just so frustrating that that's like the last thing that Powder remembers of her sister. And vice versa, okay? The last thing that Vi remembers of her sister... Here's the thing. I think that Vi's being taken away to go to like prison. And she's going to be stuck in a cell for like the next episode or something. I don't know. But... Um... Or worse, I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. It can't be good. It's not. It's not a good situation. But the last thing that she remembers of her sister is that she accidentally, but you know, get, got everybody killed. And then it, it's just not the best. It's a horrific <laughs> series of unfortunate events that led to, I believe, is going to be a very big rift between the sisters. Let's now also talk about about Powder um, and the. The absolute horror of, I don't even know how you 
come back from that. It, she's in such a vulnerable state right now and I'm at this moment I'm not entirely sure that I'm very happy that Silco is the one taking care of her. Um, not taking care of her but like he seems to be like we would show that like he's about to take her under his wing. That was the vibe I got, right? Is that... That's the vibe, right? Um... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this because, uh... Well, I just feel like it could be really... It could go in a very bad direction. Um... Okay, something that I want to... Well, I guess what I want to talk about is just as bad as I felt for Vi in this whole episode. I, I feel so bad for, for Powder as well. You could see the absolute turmoil that she was going through when she was kind of left um, and felt like she was not being useful. And she, you know, she's been told her, her whole life that like family is really important and taking care and, you know, all of this stuff. And I, I think uh, she just felt like she was being sort of tossed aside. and. I think all that she wants to do is like impress her sister or be useful to her sister. I think she feels a bit like, you know, Vi is taking care of her and, and encouraged her and done a lot. And all she wants to do is like be the best that she can be for, for Vi. Um, and specifically, I think may everybody else as well, but I think I think there's a there's a strong connection between the sisters and she just wants to to make her proud. Um, and you know, she finally kind of puts it all together that like this is how I can make one of these explosives, bombs, whatever work. We can figure it out. I got it. This blue, thingamajig, right? <laughs> In her mind, I guess. Uh, it caused an explosion before, so let's go. Let's go. I'm going to save everybody. And I love that you can see how she actually could have saved everybody. You know? I was apprehensive. Just because I felt like that, you know, she was going to throw in a bomb right on in there and and it seemed like everybody was kind of in close proximity you know what I mean however you can totally see how this could have gone the other way so there's an explosion explosion she gets all of the bad guys uh, that she might be allies with soon I know I have no idea how this is gonna go but like you know she can get them and then her family's safe yay woohoo like, it could have gone that way, didn't some, maybe, but it didn't. There's a lot of, there's a lot of good intentions in this show, but does, what is it, you know? Jace has good intentions with his experiments. Vi has good intentions by asking Powder to stay. And Powder has good intentions by bringing this, this explosive... She's also a kid, so, you know, there's, there, there's that too. But, you know, I... And she gets... Everybody. Everybody. Not everybody, I guess. She gets a lot of her family killed. And when y you are striving so much, and the thing that you care about most is to impress your sister, you know, have her look at you with, with pride and respect and everything like that. And what she does is say that you're unlucky and hits you for getting your family killed. I mean, that's, that's rough. <laughs> that's, I, it's like the worst possible outcome, right? The person who you've been trying to, you know, impress just can't, like, can barely even look at you. 
and it breaks my heart. It really, really breaks my heart for, for both of them, as I keep saying. I really feel bad for both of them. And it, if we didn't have enough series of unfortunate events, the, I think the worst, well, okay, the explosion was bad. Okay, we, we can't, we can't say that that wasn't bad. But the thing that is really the kicker at the end of this is Vi not being able to go after Powder and get her away from Silco because it could have, we could have possibly gone to a place that, and I don't know where we're going from here, to be fair. However, I, I'm a little concerned because if Vi was able to maybe explain her anger in the moment and, you know, kind of they could work on it. It would take a long time, but they would, they could work on that. But, you know, I just don't think that that's, it's not in the cards. Cause what's his fuck? What's his fuck? I don't know, I don't know his name. I don't know his name, but grabbed by. And um, that's it. It's like, it's like watching a car crash and being like, well, there's nothing we can do about it. You know what I mean? And it, you just know that there is a just horrible feeling between the sisters and, and just, I, I don't know. It's just, it's, I don't know. I don't know what to really think about it, but it's heartbreaking. Um, and I really loved Vander. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so upset about that. I'm so upset. But he went out the way that I wanted him to go out. He really, if if he had to. You know what I mean? He tried to save um, Vi and, and get her out of that. And his his last words were take care of Powder, which I don't even know is possible because I, right now I feel like Vi is going, God, I mean, who knows where Vi is going. Shouldn't she be able to take that fucker, though, that grabbed her? I'm just saying. She fought so many fucking people. It was crazy. I will say, I was very impressed with her. Get it, girl. I know your whole world got completely demolished within, you know, a few minutes after that. But you did the damn thing. Um, so I don't even know where she's going. And I don't really know about Silco the influence uh, the influence of I don't know I don't know I don't know and I feel like nervous I feel nervous <laughs> all right I think that is about it if you would like to support me on patreon or subscribe I would really appreciate it but if not I'm just happy that you are here thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you next time bye